Now let's check and adjust the camber of my wheels using this magnetic camber alignment tool. What is camber exactly? Camber is the inward or outward tilt of the wheel when viewing it from the rear or the front of the vehicle. Negative camber is when the top of the wheel tilts inwards. Positive camber is the opposite of that. So before we get started, we need to calibrate this tool. Find a metal wall or door. You can hold a level up to it to double check. Then stick the camber tool onto it. Check the bubble and spin the dial until it's leveled at zero. And now we level the car. To make sure you're on level ground, start by checking the air in all four tires and making sure that they're at the correct tire pressure rating. We let out air. Is that the correct tire pressure rating? No, I need 0.5 <laughs> more. <laughs> Next, you can place a level on the front, rear, and top of your car to make sure it's all leveled. The camera specs on my car are negative 1.5 in the front and negative 1 in the rear. If you're hitting those curvy roads, then you might want to set it up for more negative camber in the front for that turn in grip. Now we can check the camber of the wheels. Stick the camber tool into the rotor in between the spokes of your rim. You can see your camber by looking at the bubble. Now we can proceed to check the other three wheels. It's a good idea to write down all your measurements because you'll be needing it in the next step. After that's all done, we can jack up the car and take off the wheel. Slap the camber tool back onto the rotor and now you'll notice that the readout has changed from what it was before. You'll want to adjust the tool to read the same as when your car was on the ground. Now with my 19 millimeter wrench and socket, loosen the bottom bolt. Then turn the camber bolt on top to adjust the camber. <coughs> I don't know, dude. But so here's like the lobe. So depending on how you want it, it will push it. And then the bottom will lock it. So then this can't swivel around and it's locked into its place. So this lobe will push out the knuckle and then it adjusts that, the camber. Cam amber, camber. For my car, I want it to read negative 1.5 for the front. Once you're happy with it, we can move on to the rest of them. After slapping your rims back on and lowering the car, you'll want to move it a bit. So I just drive it down and back up the driveway. Now we want to check the camber again to make sure it was done correctly, but we will need to recalibrate the tool. So let's slap it back on. Let's see how we did. Nice. If you found this video useful, give it a like and subscribe for more Subaru content. I'll see you in the next install. Bye.